I dreamt about my great-grandmother dying and going into a light and moaning. I had no idea she was dying as I was sleeping, and I only found out she had died a week after I had the dream. Does Buddhism have a view on things like this? Not really. Now remember, Buddhism, Buddhism is primarily a practice. So, ask yourself, is this practical? And no, it's not. It fits in with the idea of cultivating magical powers. And so, insofar as Buddhism deals with the cultivation of magical powers, it is related. Buddhism has a view on this. It's, it's, it's lumped in there with um, supernatural occurrences which can be cultivated. So you can have more than just this accidental or, or circumstantial experience. You can actually watch people die and, and be born and so on. You can um, contact spirits, ghosts, angels, people far away, that kind of thing, through the cultivation of, of magical powers, which are not essential and, and not really, not an essential part of the path, anyway. They're a byproduct, a beneficial, not, not a beneficial, a positive byproduct, in a worldly sense, of the practice, and have, in the end, no clear purpose. The best they could do is help to open up one's mind to to the idea of the importance of the mind and the idea of the survival of the mind after the physical death, that kind of thing. But, um, I mean, I have some thoughts on this. Uh, it's, it's especially because it, it it's prevalent, it's common. It's, it's hard to find people who haven't heard such stories. Many people from have themselves experienced these sorts of things, and when they're told it's, it's you know it's whatever some kind of confabulation or or uh, wishful thinking or so on, it, it just doesn't. I was even told when I was talking about my experience, someone just said, "Well, you're lying," or "I think you're lying," which you know doesn't help me at all because I know I'm not lying. And then when you have thousands or or hundreds and thousands of these stories near-death experiences, uh, experiences of people who have died are dying. I mean, it's, it's common, and, and quite common for it to be the case where the person who's having the experience had, had no idea that the person was dying, didn't even know the person was sick in, in some cases. Uh, lots of strange things of, of this sort. And, and to just disregard them, I think, is uh, it, it's, it's a symptom of... of uh, closed-mindedness, bigotry, and scientism. Scientism in the, it means clinging to mm, clinging to uh, that which is known, that that which is believed in the sense that which is accepted as known, or the, the clinging to accepted theories and ideas of like materialism, and for the most part, the idea that everything is physical and therefore. These sorts of things can't happen. That's it. But Buddhism, not really, because it's not that practical.